Let's say you want to write an equation, a quadratic equation, whose roots are 7 and 9, and whose leading coefficient is 3. A root is the same thing as a 0. So if 7 is a root, that means x minus 7 is a factor. And that's because if you want it to set x minus 7 equal to 0, to find the 0, to solve it you'd add 7 to both sides and you'd come up with the 0 or the root of x is equal to 7. And so along the same lines, if 9 is a root, that means that x minus 9 is a factor. And now since we know we're dealing with a quadratic equation, a quadratic equation can always be written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. And since the leading coefficient is the coefficient of the term that has the highest exponent, for a quadratic equation that means the leading coefficient is the same thing as the value of a, which in this case is 3. So now to actually write our quadratic equation, we can just put the 3 in front to indicate the 3 of the leading coefficient and then write our two factors, and it doesn't matter the order that we write our two factors in. So we get 3 times x minus 7 times x minus 9. So we know that this is a quadratic equation. It will have the roots of 7 and 9 if we were to set it equal to 0, and once we multiply it all through, the leading coefficient, or the a value, would be 3. And so the last thing I'm going to do for this problem is actually multiply everything through. And I'll start by just multiplying the x minus 7 times x minus 9 using foiling. So we get x squared minus 9x minus 7x plus 63. Keeping in mind we have the 3 in front, and then I'll simplify the negative 9x and then the negative 7x. So we get 3 times x squared minus 16x plus 63. And then the last step to finish the multiplying is to multiply everything through by 3 which gives us 3x squared, and then 3 times negative 16 is negative 48x plus, and then 3 times 63 is 189. So 3x squared minus 48x plus 189. So we can see that the leading coefficient is 3, that is the value of a, and if we were to factor it, we'd end up with the 3 times x minus 7 times x minus 9, which means that it has the roots of 7 and 9. Let's look at another example. Let's say we want to write a quadratic equation whose roots are 5 and negative 2 and whose leading coefficient is 4. Along the same lines, a root of 5 means we have a factor of x minus 5. And a root of negative 2 means we have a factor of x plus 2. And again, remember, a root is the same thing as a 0. So if we take the factor and set it equal to 0, like in the case of x plus 2, to solve for x, we would have to subtract 2 from both sides, and that would give us x is equal to negative 2, which is our 0. To summarize, then, you know that if you have a root, the factor is always written with the opposite sign. So if you have a root of plus 5, that means the factor is written as x minus 5. If you have a root of negative 2, the factor is written as x plus 2. A leading coefficient of 4 means our a value is equal to 4. And so if we put it all together, we get 4 times x minus 5 times x plus 2. And it doesn't matter which order we write the factors in. So this is a quadratic equation that satisfies all those conditions. And now I'm just going to write it in a simplified form by multiplying it all through. So foiling the x minus 5 times x plus 2 leaves us with x squared plus 2x minus 5x minus 10. Keeping in mind we have the 4 out front and inside we have x squared minus 3x minus 10. And the last step is to multiply the 4 which gives us 4x squared minus 12x minus 40.